Ooh, there's so many there's so of many. them. I, I can't, can't choose just I can't. one. Yes. No, really, all of them. Yes. I like all of that. Um, yes. All of the above. Yeah. Well, the sides are always the same. Always the same. I like it. I, I do like eggnog without liquor in it. Just about any other dessert you want to serve. Mac and cheese, you know, collard greens, um, some kind of st stuffing or dressing, you know, that kind of thing. The meats change, but the, the sides are always the same. Candy yams. Uh, brisket, spoon bread, fried okra. That's kind of uh, a fave for Christmas dinner. Candies, I take it all. Chocolate, I take it all. I take it all. <laughs> Narrow it down. There's candies. They have haystacks, buckeyes. Red velvet cake. Red velvet cake. Coconut cake. I guess it's not Christmas, but it's I know. Anyway. Red velvet's red, though, so that <laughs> we'll works. claim it. But I always smoke a ham for my family for um, Christmas when we have, we have, we have a lot of different celebrations throughout the, the week of Christmas, it seems like, but I always smoke a ham for when my dad and sister and brother-in-law and my side of the family comes over. Uh, I like them all. I'm, I've never met a holiday dish, a Christmas dish, a Christmas beverage I didn't like. Uh, other than that, uh, I'm a cold beverage kind of guy, but if you throw me some eggnog with a little bit of dark rum in it, <laughs> I won't come to work the next day. Uh, green bean casserole. I have to have green bean casserole, and my wife knows it. She was at the grocery store the other day buying the ingredients for green bean casserole. Thanksgiving, Christmas, I have to have that. And I have to have the onion rings and the cream of mushroom soup, very important ingredients in that, and of course green beans. But I have to have it. I, and in fact, I went to Thanksgiving dinner at my brother-in-law's house this year, and he said, nobody's gonna eat green bean casserole. You really don't need to bring that. My wife said, oh yeah, you know, you don't understand. This, is, um, this has to be there. So it has to be there at Christmas too. I love eggnog with a little something something in it. No, the baked goods just put me over the edge. People bring in amazing things. You know, people bring in incredible stuff here at work, and your, you know, your neighbors bring you all these homemade things that, that are kind of odd concoctions nobody makes any other time of year with you know, smushed pretzels with chocolate and nuts and caramel and things that nobody makes but at Christmas. Uh, so I love that. Uh, and because I'm from Maryland, um, I eat seafood every Christmas Eve and every New Year's Eve. Those are my meals. So for me, the Christmas season is also tremendous amounts of seafood. And then on Christmas night, we go to my wife's family and we have a big spaghetti dinner. And a lot of people would think that's not really a typical, traditional Christmas type meal, but everybody has gone through their whole day and open gifts all day long. And then we just all get together and have a nice uh, spaghetti dinner with garlic bread and everything. And I love gingerbread. And then we have some, uh, I have this uh, uh, spinach, I oh know, broccoli rice casserole that I make. Doesn't that sound yummy? But it's delicious. You know, I think back to those incredible Christmas Eve uh, extravaganzas that my mom used to cook were so good, whether it was the the, the, the veal cutlets, the the lobsters, the, the seven layer chocolate cake with whipped cream in between each layer. I mean, all that stuff. I love all that. Uh, but for me, it's about ravioli. There's nothing that, that brings back a sense of what the holiday is all about, but the warmth of the, of the ravioli with the, the white ricotta cheese inside and the tomato sauce on top and al dente to the tooth cooked perfectly. Oh, so good. So good. Mm, I'm getting hungry. Oh, peppermint bark is delicious. Oh, hot cocoa with lots and lots of whipped cream. My mother's homemade cookies. Oh, goodness gracious. Well, I would have to say that I would prefer the Russell Stover assorted fine chocolate gift here that I'm going to unravel and eat myself.